The story of Morgan's Corner is one of Oahu's favorite ghost stories. Everyone's heard it. It was a dark night, a young couple in a car parked on the deserted road under a large old tree. The car wouldn't start, and the boyfriend went for help, leaving the girl alone. She fell asleep and was awakened by police surrounding the car. Her boyfriend was dead, hanging from the tree above the car with his body sliced open. It's an urban legend. Nobody knows how this fictional story came to be, or how it got attached to Morgan's Corner, but some people do remember the real murder that actually occurred on this road, a short distance away from that infamous tree. It was a murder that horrified Honolulu. Halfway down Nu'uanu Pali Drive, below the old Pali Road, there was a sharp hairpin turn. In pre-Pali Highway days, a famous doctor named James Morgan lived in a villa right above this commuter slowdown, which became known as Morgan's Corner. In 1948, Morgan's neighbor, Therese Wilder, was murdered. She was a 68-year-old widow living alone. Her gardener, Isabella Escalante, had discovered her dead body lying on her pet, with her arms and legs bound, and a gag drawn tightly around her face and neck. She had died by suffocation. The case was huge. The chief of police had every available police officer searching for clues about the murder. There was no forced entry, and no valuables were missing. A few days later, escaped prisoners John Palakiko and James Majors were caught. They confessed that they had just burglarized a different home on the same street when they smelled Mrs. Wilder's food cooking. They were hungry, and their only motive was to obtain food, they said, but they ended up killing Mrs. Wilder. They were sentenced to death for the murder, but then controversy over capital punishment in Hawaii saved the men again and again, even getting their sentences reduced. In 1974, Palakiko, at the age of 46, died while in prison of unknown causes, and Majors was granted two years probation and granted final discharge from parole in 1968. Some say that Palakiko and Majors' spirits haunt the old location of the murder, alongside the ghost of Mrs. Wilder. The original house is long gone, and the old estate grounds is now a gated community. Are the ghosts of Palakiko, Majors, and Mrs. Wilder haunting the old Nu'uanu Pali Road? And what about the tree? Is there a supernatural spirit living at the Judd Memorial Trailhead? Well, we intend to find out, with the help of paranormal investigators 808 Ghosts.